my name is Terry Van Hazel, and I'm the patented inventor of a product that NASCO now carries called Fired On Images. With this product, you can fire any high quality image, photograph, graphic, text, whatever you desire, onto any fireable surface, which includes glass, fireable glass, porcelain, low fire clays, mid-range fire clays. It doesn't matter. It will work with this process. So today I'm going to talk about, oh, the most important thing that everybody needs to know is what printer to use, and that's an HP or a Canon laser black only printer. The printer can be only HP or Canon and must not be able to print in color. Even fax machines with those parameters will work. So as long as it's an HP or a Canon and has no ability to print in color, it will work for this process. Um, today I'm going to talk about colorizing. Images fire to a beautiful sepia brown. You can see on this um, tile right here. And they can be colorized in several different ways. One way is to use a colored surface just like this. Whatever color you've used behind it will probably show through in the lighter areas. So for photographs you might want to stick with a white background, but you can certainly color around the edges of whatever the project is. But leave white for the photograph. Um, when you're doing graphics it doesn't matter as much. You can take more liberty with um, the color. So basically I'm going to show you the steps I took to do this Mary Cassatt pastel tile. And what you do is you just start with any old bisque tile, which NASCO sells, the low fire bisque tile. And I painted two coats of white glaze over it and let it dry. And then I printed my image on clay carbon. It's made by Mako and it's available um, at NASCO and basically it's a carbonless carbon paper. It's the new stuff that they're using to make receipts without all that blue nonsense getting on your fingers. So it works great for tracing images onto clay or uh, glaze surfaces. You let the glaze dry and then you just put the image down and then tape it down and then take a pencil or a pen and go around the edges to make the marks where you want to put your color. The next step for this project, I used pastels. And they have these wonderful, Amico makes these underglazed chalks and pencils. And um, Masco also sells those. And I used the chalks to paint in the lines for what this project. And I used, I took a, um, an original of the picture with the color and I printed that out to have a guide to see where some of the lines were, to see where some of the shading was. So I, I printed that, I mean I drew with those chalks all over this in the lines and then I fired it. It had glaze underneath it in a myolica style whereas you put a layer of white glaze and then you paint on top of it with either paints or chalks or whatever you want to use and it sinks into the surface. So I did that and fired it and now I have a glossy surface and then I took my decal paper and I soaked it in water and pulled it on and put it on, to neat on top of this and fired it again and then I had this. This is my result. So um, it basically gave me all the detail that I wanted. You don't have to use chalks though. You can also do it with uh, colored glazes which is what I used for this cardinal. So the same process. I painted a coat or two of either, either clear or a white glaze and then I traced the image using clay carbon onto the glaze, the dried glaze, and I filled the area with, with red and orange glaze. And then I fired it and then slid the decal on or the transfer on and fired it again. So those are some of the ways that you can add color. Underneath, underneath, and then there's another way, a third way, which is to put it on top of. This one is with china paint on a porcelain platter. So you can also use overglazes or china paints to do that, to fire images on top of 
um, already fired transfers. Um, another way of adding color is to put the decal or the transfer onto bisque and then fire it. You can fire it at any temperature, even cone uh, 020 will work. The way that you get the image on when you're doing it just straight on bisque is that you use a glue stick, a great old-fashioned water-soluble glue stick, because there's no, there's no uh, adhesive on the uh, way to adhe adhere it without a uh, glossy surface to hold it. So you put glue stick on, and then you slide the image on the same way, and then when you fire it, it comes out kind of powdery. So you just have to watch that. And then that's how I did this big um, fruit crate tile. So then I painted in the lines with all the colors that I wanted, and then I had to put a, a coat of clear on it. Now with this process, you don't want to fade the image, so there are certain glazes that you can use to be able to fire the image back up to the original firing temperature, and one of them is this Spectrum 700 clear glaze. That really works well if you're going to put um, images on and you want to fire them back up to Kono 6. In the instructions, there's all kinds of information about what glazes fire at what temperatures. So that's all clearly spelled out in the, in the firing information for the decals. Um, this is another one. This cup is a high fired or mid range fired with a kind of a butterscotch colored um, glaze. And then I did what's called a gore map. Um, I found it on the Library of Congress's website. They have some great images available there for no royalty to, to um, download them. They're, they're for the people, by the people, so they're all free. And um, it's an old map, an old gore map, they call it. It's the kind of map that's cut up so that when you put it together, it becomes a, an oval or circle. And then these uh, super riders also work really well. These spectrum super riders work really well to when you're painting in the lines and then you want to fire it back up to Kono 6. All that information is in the instructions. For more information, check out our book that's available at NASCO. And also, uh, you can um, see us on our webpage at www.fired-on.com. And there are lots of projects and things on that website, also in the book. So thanks so much for listening. It's been fun here at NASCO today, and have a lot of fun with it. I know you will.